Chris Holds, Mega Baseball here. Got a little something, something from Nick Sports Cards in Dallas, Texas. I picked up on my own because I just couldn't wait any longer to do a Box Busters. I've got a little Box Busters preview of 2014 Top Stadium Club. It's the first stadium club since 2008, which was my first year at Beckett Media, some six years ago this week. And uh, it hasn't been back since. Stadium Club was around for the one year, and that's it. It was a high-end brand, and uh, it's back. And this time it's not as high-end. It's about $100, $120-ish max a box. Three mini boxes inside of this box. And inside each one of these mini boxes is an autograph and a few packs. So I figured I'd rip into it here just for fun. I'm sure we'll have a Box Busters here shortly you know the one with me and Fleischer or someone else even potentially to my right but this time it's me solo and it's stadium club so uh, my camera's a little dusty a little shaky my, my lights are a little off Ooh, I just tore the box the wrong way oh well it's just gonna be one of those days hopefully the box will make up for it. Looks like there are six packs, five cards per pack per mini. There are my six packs. There's the Stadium Club logo. And it's time to dig in. This is a brand that's uh, got some interesting features. Hopefully I'll find some here very quickly. How about in the first pack? I don't know how rare this version is, but it's not a bad looking pack or card. A luminous insert of Derek Jeter. Some of these are quite rare, some of these aren't. They're kind of a tiered insert. And this is also the die cut where, with the two other kinds, they, they work together in tandem to create a larger image. Speaking of images, there are some interestingly creative images in this brand. Throwback photos such as this, the Roberto Clemente in black and white, with a very strikingly clean, modern, new look on the back. Pretty sweet looking, actually. And obviously, photography is the name of the game with Stadium Club, as it was back when it first arrived in 1991. This first pack, kind of standard stuff in terms of the cards. There are some parallels, which we'll see of hopefully here shortly. Not all of them are numbered, even though they can be relatively rare. Standard pack here, Victor Martinez, fumbled card. Good thing it's a fumbled card when it's mine. Randy Johnson. Eddie Butler, rookie card. Travis Denard, rookie card. Gregory Polanco, rookie card. There, you know, this is pretty much a standard kind of a product with, with, with a non-standard configuration. Um, all the autographs are on card. Hopefully I'll get one that's not just a rookie. How about a Roger Clemens base card with a retro photograph there? <clears throat> Annabelle Sanchez. Bryce Harper. This is a field access insert card. Hard to read it backwards. Johnny Bench signed some autographs like that photograph. Ian Kinsler celebrating. My desk has all got stuff off to the side, so I'm struggling with directions of where to set things, how to make sure I can see everything correctly. Correctly. My first autograph is a rookie card auto, Eric Johnson, Chicago White Sox rookie. Nelson Cruz, Pedro Martinez, Shane Victorino. Pablo Sandoval. Cool shot there. Now, I haven't really gotten any of the massive, dramatically different photos just yet. I'm sure they're still to come. My wrappers are going on the floor, trying not to make sure the cards don't go on the floor as well. Here's a parallel card, numbered out of... not numbered, so it's just the rainbow parallel. I thought I... when I ran my finger across it, I thought I felt some embossing. Colton Wong. Parallel insert. Jason Kipnis and Eddie Murray. 
Albert Pujols, and David Wright. My final card of my first mini box. Or final pack of my first mini box. Hopefully you'll see the new look Becca.com tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, or at the maybe you'll be watching this on the site by then. A new look for some things on the first page. Buster Posey, full extension. Sin Shu Chu, almost there. Boom. Will Myers, following through. So that was box one, Eric Johnson autograph. Box two, or mini box two. I like the mini boxes. They're very de democratic in that regard, and that's or very, de very democratic in the regard, or in the, jeez. They're very cool because people who don't have 120 bucks can buy a mini box and still have a shot at something. This box is stuck in here. I think they were $40 per mini locally, so that's not bad. You could still have a shot at a mini box for the shot at a sort of a hobby box at the price of two blasters. How about a gold foil parallel of Bob Feller? Nice photo on that one. John Smoltz, a little celebration from back in the day. Roldis Chapman, more standard photos here. Clifford, Clifton Lee. George Brett. Next pack. This is a brand that uh, has, has got a rich history in terms of just uh, cool inclusions in the past, but mostly photography, but there have been some fun stuff in past releases. I really liked the 08 release, however, it did not return after that one year revival. And, you know, who knows why? I mean, probably because it just didn't sell as well as they had hoped, but hopefully this one will stick around. Babe Ruth on that card there. That dude BP on the Twitters, Brandon Phillips. Next pack. I have a redemption. A stadium club autograph of Husker Tavares. So not bad. That's a decent auto in terms of name. I haven't checked to see if he's holding his value because he's got plenty of different autos out there. But that's a little bit stronger than my first one. David Price. Garrett Cole and Curtis Granderson. And Joey Vato. Next pack. And I think that was just a standard autograph. I don't recall reading anything saying the otherwise. Yep, just a regular stadium club autograph. Five cards per pack. Make sure I had them all here. C.J. Cron parallel card, a little hollow foil action. Andrew Haney and Giancarlo Stanton for all you Marlins fans out there, all five of you. <clears throat> Michael Waka and Sergio Romo. I've interviewed one of the two here, and it was that guy. Next pack. Al Kaline and Xander Bogarts, back to back. Followed up by a Future Stars die cut of George Springer. Final two cards in the pack are Jose Reyes and an unusual looking card, however, just a standard card. Nolan Ryan. Hopefully, my focus is working properly. After all, you definitely need to see this in full sharpness. Beam Team is a familiar name of the past. It's back. I just got a Masahiro Tanaka card. Along with two other Yankees. Donald Arthur Mattingly and CC Sabathia. And my last two cards in that pack are Gio Gonzalez and Pedro Alvarez. Next box. My final mini box. I really just do like the... Uh, the approach on this one, it's simple. This is a collector-based product, if you ask me. The mini boxes definitely help you get something guaranteed for about 40 bucks. If you shop around, you might be able to find these a little cheaper. The uh, it may not be this. This may not be one of those brands the group breakers go gaga about because the checklist is not as variety-packed as some might want, perhaps. 
but I think this is a fun product for collectors. Anthony Rizzo, parallel card, signing some autographs. Christian Yillick and Chris Owings. Carl Crawford and Jolton Joe DiMaggio. I want you in my pack. Some of you will be old enough to know what that meant. Maybe it's not the exact words, but here's another one of the original or the unusual cards. Ted Williams showing him with his military time, and that's actually not a short print. It's a standard card. I'm hoping to get the David David Ortiz presidential selfie card, but it may not be in the in the works today. Stan Musial, uh, Legends die cut, very cool looking card. There are parallels of those. Eric Hosmer, after the week he's had, I guess it's fitting I pull his card. Not that that many of you truly care, because you're not exactly buying his cards in big bulk money. But, you know, he's playing well. Wilmer Flores. Next pack. <clears throat> Ivan Rodriguez in a familiar pose. Wade Boggs in a familiar pose. George Kenneth Griffey Jr. in a familiar swinging pose, sort of. Yaziel Puig. Field access. And Adam Jones. Mr. Jones and me. Gonna be a big star. Next pack. This is probably my auto, just because it's been a while. And it is. Arizmende Alcantara. Boom. On-card autograph. No foil on the autographs. I don't know if I noticed that on the first one or not. It's a little odd. Or maybe that one's just missing some foil. Doesn't have the Topps logo on it, so maybe that's just an error. I'll check it out. George Springer rookie card. Marcus Stroman rookie card. Oye Komova. Carlos Santana. Mr. Uakuma. Two packs to go. California. How about a little little time for the AL batting champion, Jose Altuve? Chase Utley, Steven Strasburg, Billy Hamilton. Boom, boom, boom. How about a parallel reflective foil of Willie Mays? Probably has a catchy name on Vega.com, or if I read the checklist of uh, the wrapper, I'll leave that to you. Alex Guerrero, rookie card, along with Jared Weaver. My last three cards. Roy Halladay throwing out a first pitch in his jeans. Another interesting photograph. Little Tyrus Raymond Cobb back in the day. And a field access of another Detroit Tigers big hitter, Miguel Cabrera. So that was Stadium Club. I have an Oscar Tavares autograph, an Arizmendi Al Alcantara, and a uh, Eric Johnson rookie card to show for my uh, autograph to show for my efforts. I think I did okay. The Tavares, once I have it in hand, it should be a decent little card. I don't have his autograph, so that's a win for me. The other two, they're your typical kind of lower-range rookies, but maybe there's potential there. So let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll probably have the regular box posters for this pretty soon. If not, hey, tomorrow, just knowing my luck. But until uh, next time, Chris Holds, Beggy Baseball, just keep ripping.